Hey, welcome back to another pool video. So today we're gonna to be installing our 18 foot pool by Coleman. Last year we had the Summer Waves 15 foot pool. So if you're interested, definitely go ahead and check that out. But we upgraded to bigger and better. This pool has everything we need, including a ladder, pump, filter, and a cover, all of that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So here we decided to use the exact same spot as our 15 foot pool, but because it was a little bit bigger, we had to accommodate for the tiny little slope here. So we went ahead and prepared our ground to level it out. So here we decided to lay out all the arms and all of the pool legs and then I am going to just set them around the tarp just to make it easier to have right next to us. Next, you'll want to go ahead and take the little foot post and add the leg to it, just like that. I laid everything out so it's easier to go. And first, you'll go ahead and take one of the arm pieces and you'll just put it right through the like top sleeve part. And you'll just go ahead and connect that like so to the bracket. And this one is super easy and different. You just push in the button and then it'll pop in. Here's another view of that. So this one's better than the ones where you have to add the little T-pins and pop them in. But you'll just add that to the leg post and then you'll just continue going around until you're done. I love how this pool includes a ladder so I'm just going to breeze through showing you how to put this ladder up. It's really super simple. Now on to the most tedious part, in my opinion, which is getting out the wrinkles at the bottom of the pool liner. I really took my time and got in there and really got those wrinkles as flat as possible. Now here we just show you how to put in each piece for the filter and the pump. So these are the pieces for part B and you'll just screw on the pipes for those. And they're super easy, you just twist them and lock them into place. Add the other one, lock it in. From there, you'll take the end of that and connect those two hoses together. So from here, you can go ahead and connect this hose that's gonna to go to your filter onto these two hoses on the other end. And just go ahead and put that on your filter, lock it in.
So now you can go ahead and take your last hose and attach it to this piece. And then this is gonna go at the end of your filter when you're done. So see, we'll just connect it to our filter on the other end. And that just lets the water back into the pool. So last minute, getting those wrinkles out before I start adding water to the pool. Cause to me, like I said, this is the most important part. So I'm just really taking my time, making sure everything is out. So as I take a step back and really look at this pool, you guys, this pool is massive compared to my old 15 by 33 inch pool. It was so tiny compared to this one. Again, this one is the 18 by 48 inch. So 18 feet wide and four feet tall. So this one is already a huge difference compared to our other pool. The pool did take about 24 hours to completely fill up. We let the water run all night long and it was done about a day later. And for anyone wondering, the pool is about 6,700 gallons. Okay, you guys, so we did not know how to work this type of pump. We didn't have this one on our old pool, so this was the result of us trying to change the filter. So we found out that you're supposed to turn off the pump first, and then they provide you with these little plugs, and you'll just put them into both port Bs. Uh, just take that off and plug the hole on both sides. And then on the valve, it'll be on unlock mode. So then you'll just twist that to lock it. From here, you can go ahead and let the water out at the top and then you can unscrew the whole entire thing and then voila. So we usually just spray off our filter and then put it back in. Make sure the little gasket thing is up at the top, screw it back on, then you're good to go. You can take out the plugs and put your pieces back in, turn this back on, unlock. So here's the cover that they provided us with. And we got these clips from Amazon to keep the pool cover on and also to put around our pool float. And then the dog leash to keep on the float. And that is it, you guys.